Well, good afternoon. I'm Jason Smith, principal of Governor John R. Rogers High School in the Piop School District. And I thought I'd share a few tips with you on uh, creating a positive climate uh, on your campus. Uh, first and foremost, I think it is about creating positive relationships uh, with your students, with your staff, and with your community. I uh, cannot emphasize that enough. The individual conversations, the large conversations um, that we have with students and parents, but creating positive relationships, without a doubt, the number one priority in having a positive climate. Uh, number two, I think it's very important that you verbally and visually display all student success. Um, if we don't carry our message for us, somebody else will. Uh, our superintendent says that quite often, and I agree with that. Um, we have to show people, our community, um, other students, what we are doing. Otherwise, people will make up their own minds about what we're doing. So display and honor and show all student success uh, at all times. Um, third, I think it's very important that you celebrate all improvement, okay? Whether it's from a 1.0 to a 1.2 GPA improvement, whether it's from a 3.8 to a 4.0 improvement, celebrate and honoring all improvement in an academic type assembly uh, is very, very key and very crucial. So I think that is important in creating a positive climate. I also believe that um, as principals, uh, with our budget, which is very difficult these days, you have to carve out money uh, for your staff and for your students for professional development. Uh, and there is specific professional development in making a climate positive for your school. So you got to put your money where your mouth is. Uh, and that is extremely important as well. Next, I also think you have to be prepared to, if you're going to create a positive climate, it's not going to happen overnight. Um, so you have to be in it to win it for the long haul. Uh, it does not happen in one year, it does not necessarily happen in two years, but there are small things you can do along the way in order to sustain and create a positive climate that will last uh, over time. Uh, and I think that's my five tips. So thank you for this opportunity.